Hello everybody, I'm back with another video. Uh, today we'll be talking about the Emerson Horseman, and that would be the knife in the middle there. Uh, this knife is also known as the Mini CQC8. Uh, feel free to pause the video during the size comparisons here, and uh, as always the specs will be on the left hand side. Alright, let's go and move these out of the way, and uh, bring in the credit cards here. And the uh, US dollar. Alright, there you are. Okay. So first off, uh, let's go and uh, do another size comparison. Last size comparison to the palm of my hand. And you can tell it is a rather uh, average size knife. Uh, no, no way I'm going to conceal this in my hand. Before I open the knife, I want to show you a really neat feature of it. Uh, if when you're to hold this knife um, in an ice pick grip, this rather pointed tail end is great for a striking tool. I mean, if you connect with this, like for example, on the side of the head, you know, it's, it's, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll uh, hurt. So, all right, let's go to ergonomics here. <clears throat> as soon as you open a knife, I want you to take notice of the, of the uh, awesome shape of that handle, especially that first uh, uh, choil here, or cutout here. It's, it's just perfectly right there. I mean, and then the nice um, curved uh, back part of the or spine of the handle. Um, it just feels so nice in the hand, you know, very, very ergonomic in my opinion. So, and even in a reverse grip, it's just perfect. You, although your thumb is kind of odd, I mean, unless you've got like larger hands than I do, you know, you can't put it on top. And then I, you know, because of this pointed tip, I probably don't even want to put it on top when I do a, you know, a stab, a downward stab or anything like that. Uh, hopefully this choil will keep your uh, fingers from sliding off. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, all right, let's go and zoom in, do some macros, and I'll start with the handle first here. Okay, so let's start at the back of the knife here. So right off the bat, uh, here's that point I was talking about. Great for a striking tool. <clears throat> it does come with a uh, nice lanyard hole. Look how thick this uh, uh, handle is. I mean, this thing is insane. Uh, it fills out the hand very, very nicely, so it feels very comfortable when you're holding onto it. Uh, it's got uh, this rather uh, grippy G10, you know, not as grippy as say the Recon 1, but but still substanti substantial enough uh, to provide very, very good grip and traction when you're holding onto the knife. So here's that uh, giant, you know, cutout here, you know, for your uh, index finger. And then it's got like little small, you know, uh, swells here for the rest of your fingers. Uh, the, the pivot screw is a very, very uh, av uh, normal uh, flathead screwdriver, you know, you can adjust it pretty much with any, with any uh, flathead screwdriver, or, you know, <clears throat> and so you don't have to need, you don't need any special Torx uh, uh, heads or, you know, whatnot. And here's the back here. Uh, first thing I'll show you right here is the, uh, now I believe this locking side, which is the thicker side here on the, my right hand side, is uh, titanium. And then the other side uh, is a stainless steel, I, I think. Uh, someone correct me if I'm wrong. I but I believe the older Emersons uh, were using titanium one side and stainless steel on the other. I don't know about this one. This one was manufactured in 2008, by the way. Um, and then uh, here you can, I'll just go ahead and get into the blade here. This is the wave opener, that little nub there. So as you have it in your uh, pocket, when you're drawing the knife out of your pocket, you hook that onto your uh, uh, jeans or pants or whatnot, and uh, you pull you pull against it, you'll flip the knife open. It's very quick, I've done it several times. And this is probably second to only to like, say, a fixed blade. Because when you open it, or when you take it out of your pocket, it's already open and ready to go. Now, there's jimping here, but I will say this is rather useless jimping, by the way. Uh, it does afford a little bit of grip, but it doesn't really keep your fingers from sliding under like harder usage, so. <clears throat> On the underside, we have the locking bar here. Uh, you can tell it's a pretty thick locking bar, and it's got nice little steps on here, or jimping, uh, to provide good, good uh, traction to disengaging the lock bar. Um, the one thing I don't like about the locking bar is the fact that uh, it's kind of recessed, and as you can see here, the G10 it, you know, supersedes the, the jimping on the uh, lock bar. So if you're a righty, you still kind of have to like dig your thumb into the uh, you know the locking bar here to, to get the uh, to get the disengagement uh, and if you're a lefty forget about it I mean it's really it's really challenging to get see it's really challenging to get in here and then try and close the blade with one hand so but I will say on the on the upside is when you do have the blade closed for lefties uh, you can at least get to the thumb disc here you know and righties same thing because because like this cutout is so huge unlike the CQC7 which is really crazy if you're left-handed because you can't really get to the thumb disc on that knife so, 
Speaking of thumb disc, I'm not really a big fan of thumb discs, by the way. Uh, I know Emerson's are you know well known for that. Either that or some of the, like the other models have like the Spider Co type of uh, you know oval hole, hole opening for for uh, for ambidextrous use. But you know I would prefer that to this thumb disc. I'll tell you that much. But either way, it still works. So this knife is number 46. Uh, which is a rather low number. I was actually really surprised to get this considering this knife was manufactured in 2008. So, uh, on the blade here, it does have the Emerson logo and it does say Horseman made in the USA. Again, 2008 was the manufacturing year. And um, look at the nice uh, grind lines on this blade here and the, this this awesome shape. I This is what I loved about the the Horseman here is this, this, this very, very definitive shape here. And um, yeah, I was hoping to get a, like a plain edge, but unfortunately, you know, Emerson's are pretty hard to get get a hold of. So if you find one that you like, pick it up because once they're gone, they're gone. You know, they they have very limited production. So, <clears throat> so I settle for the partial serrated edge here. I'll demonstrate how sharp the knife is in a second. Uh, the other thing I like about this Emer uh, about Emerson's in general is the fact that they use very thick uh, blade stock. You know, for their production knives. So, um, as it's just it's just great. You know, nice and nice and tough. You know. Uh, the actual blade or the actual cutting edge itself, I mean, it is a traditional V grind as you can tell here. Uh, but the actual cutting edge is actually a uh, chisel ground. So if I bring it up close here, you can tell that uh, there's the, you can tell the chisel ground there. As on the right hand side, there, there's the uh, there's the edge, and on the uh, left hand side, it's just uh, it's just flat. So there. Let me zoom back out here. Uh, let me uh, let me show you how sharp this thing is. There you go. So it just shaves right through it. I mean, Emerson's all both my Emerson came really sharp, so I don't really expect much less from any other Emerson that you would get. And <coughs> excuse me, as promised, this is a CQC seven right here, non wave version. And this is what the pocket clip looks like. So this exact same pocket clip will come with the Horseman. I happen to remove it because it was really bothering the hell out of me. So. Um, so it's not, you know, it's not, not too low ride, you know, and on, I mean, on this one, it, it's that much that shows up. And if you figure on the horseman, you know, being where the pocket clip is, you know, this much is going to show up. So that's about what half an inch right there at, at the top of your pocket. So, all right. So final thoughts, uh, Emerson's are awesome. If you're in the market for a, a very hard use, well-made tough knife, you know, it comes with a thick blade, thick handle, you know, good, good, uh, grippy G10. Emerson's are for you. Actually, uh, any Emerson would be for you, really. Um, this Emerson in particular has a, has a, a great, uh, um, uh, choil on, choil and ergonomics on here. Uh, awesome thumb ramp. Uh, got the wave opening feature. You know, uh, uh, you know, this one's got the traditional V grind, which I really like. I'm not a huge fan of chisel ground, you know, but uh, this V grind is very awesome. You know, it's got the uh, pointed back uh, tail for um, for striking purposes. So, um, some bad parts about Emerson's, and this is actually true for for all Emerson's, as I, of what I heard, and also from both my knives, is that when you first get it. Uh, have a little bit of patience because the pivot is going to be very, very stiff. All Emerson's are like that. So, you know, after uh, playing around with it for a little while, it will loosen up and the uh, locking bar will stop uh, sticking. So, again, if anybody gets, in, gets into Emerson's for the very first time, please be very, very patient with them because uh, they, they, are, they are stiff and, they, and the, the pivots, um, I mean, the pivots are stiff and the locking bar will stick. So that is just a trademark of them. But like I said, once you, once you play with them enough, you know, uh, they will be very, very smooth. So, you know, this one is very, this one's actually smoother than my horseman, but I've been, but I carry, I've carried this and I've uh, played with this, you know, opening and closing it a lot. So, um, but anyway, um, uh, this has been my review of the Emerson Horseman, uh, also known as the Mini CQC8. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next review. All right, take care.